Come on, girl. Hey, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Farida, also known as Curly Proverbs. And if you didn't know, on this channel, it's no kinks, no curls, no coils, no waves, nobody left behind. We are all about that natural, Ayurvedic, herb-inspired, uh, hair care routine regimens things that actually work for giving you lustrous thick amazing hair with fantastic growth and length retention and in today's video we're actually going to be doing an ingredient spotlight on amla now i'm gonna preempt this video by saying that pretty much all the uses that i'm going to give you for amla you can actually apply it to your favorite ayurvedic herbs you could do it with shikai kai henna neem whatever you have already in your home you don't don't feel like you need to rush out and um, get this particular um, herb because they're all amazing but we are focusing on the amazingness of amla i have been using it for seven years it was part of my routine from the beginning and i used to use it hand in hand from day one with my henna powder, which you guys know is absolute bay around here. By the way, I've never used an amla powder that I have not absolutely loved, but this is what it looks like. It's a really fine powder, and it's actually made of Indian gooseberry, okay? It is super high in vitamin C, it's really high in vitamin E, as well as iron and phosphorus, all really key parts of um, stimulating hair growth and there has been study after study after study that's looked at the benefits of amla it's actually been shown to be as effective as rogaine um, which i think is called minoxidil okay so amla has actually been shown to one decrease the amount of visible scalp by actually increasing the number of hair follicles on the scalp producing hair it also increases the rate of hair growth and thickens the actual strands of hair that you're able to produce out the follicles video I need to give a massive shout out and thank you to our sponsors over at Skillshare they've been sponsoring my channel for the longest time thus allowing me to continue creating continue creating continue creating content for you guys here on this platform they're basically an online community of learners and um, if you're a creative and you are thinking of starting your own business you want to learn um, some kind of an art illustration photography there are classes on every everything and I have been looking at classes on running a blog and producing better content and planning things out and I've just been getting so many ideas and so much inspiration as to how to direct things on my platform and channel that has been super if you're interested in this video which obviously focuses on Amla you might be interested in the courses that they have on henna their properties and how you can use it for henna art etc um, or even courses on illustration and watercolor or Spanish they have pretty much something for everybody the first thousand people to click the link in the description box will actually get two months absolutely free of the premium bundle which means you have access to all of the classes I have been loving illustration and I cannot believe the caliber of teachers they have on this platform with that said, let's get into the uses of Amla. Well, my favorite way of utilizing Amla at the minute is definitely in a rinse and a tea. The reason for this is it just is so easy to make up. It's so easy to use. You don't have all the mess that comes along with actually making up a full mask um, and it strengthens your hair from root to end right from the beginning also if you have dark hair it's a lot less likely than henna to actually brighten your hair color if that's not what you are after um, and all you have to do is take a teaspoon of amla put it into some hot water leave it overnight covered and then pour the top 
um, the top um, solution that has now brewed and just put it into your spray bottle. Spray that into your hair a maximum of three times a week and make sure you always get that scalp. I promise you, uh, come back please and just tell the others how bomb it is because they, they need to hear it from you. Sometimes they just need to hear it from you, not me. The other way that you can actually use it is as an exfoliant. Oh my gosh. Mix it in with a soft sugar um, and a little bit of oil and go in and massage it into your scalp um, as part of an exfoliating treatment. Now, a really good oil to use for exfoliation purposes and to combine with amla would be papaya oil. Papaya oil actually has amazing enzymes in there, okay? And if you wanted to use papaya oil as a base to face masks, it's also a really good look. But because it's got exfoliants and really powerful enzymes, I would definitely, definitely be sure to do um, a patch test with this. Um, so all you want to do is you want to mix equal parts of amla and um, papaya oil, but you can go a little bit less with the papaya oil if you wish, and then an equal part of the sugar. So I would do like one to one to one with a really soft sugar and go in and exfoliate your scalp. This really helps with issues like dandruff. It really reinvigorates the scalp, improves the circulation because of the nutrients that are in there, and also because of the actual motion and it makes sure that your, your scalp is at the epitome of health really, removes all of those layers and just brightens your scalp. I know no, nobody's actually looking at your scalp, but um, the follicles that will be on that surface will actually have a kind of clean slate to be able to grow out of. And at the same time as exfoliating, you're also imparting strength to your follicles because amla by nature is going to strengthen your follicle. And a healthy scalp grows long, healthy hair. Say it with me, a healthy scalp grows healthy hair. That is the mantra, okay? The other thing that you can do is like, you could give a mad boost to um, your cleanser. So if it is, um, a African black soap or if it's a regular shampoo, you can literally just add your amla powder to it for like an actual boost to its properties. Um, and a lot of store-bought shampoos don't really have much goodness in them. It's like you'll buy a shampoo and it'll say, um, infused with extract of argan or something. And then it'd be like the second to last ingredient. What? It goes without saying that, of course, you can actually mix amla with your clays as well um, for a super strengthening treatment. Don't worry, I'm going to be having a whole video dedicated to clays and cleansers, so make sure you look out for that. Um, but literally just mix in a teaspoon into your regular um, clay mask. Um, I would go up to three teaspoons if you have longer hair and the goodness the goods. Okay, you can go for a straight mask. Uh, use number five. Go for a straight mask. Literally, amla and aloe vera juice. Put that in your hair and let me tell you something. Strength. Yes. Um, so if you find that your hair is breaking very easily, I literally went through a stage where I would touch my hair or I'd be tying my hair up and they'd like literally be broken, like fragments covering my sink, covering my floor. My hair was so weak. One application of Amla later, that was canceled. So it really is that good stuff. So you can also combine it with henna. They go really, really, really well together. Um, I actually find that it, it makes a much nicer color when they're in combination as opposed to with henna on its own. It's a bit more muted and a bit more rich. Um, and I really do enjoy them as a combination. They're a winning team. If you don't know about henna, where have you been, girl? I have a few videos on that topic, so make sure you check them out. Henna is <laughs> top of the tree. Let me just say that. Be to utilize it in a gloss. Now, if 
you don't want to go for a straight mask, which is more labor intensive, a whole lot messier, um, and can actually dry out your hair if you don't have experience using it, you could just go for a straight gloss, which is use your regular moisturizing deep conditioner and add your ambula powder to that. I would always advise that you make up a little paste so you don't have lumps in your conditioner. Make up a little paste with aloe vera juice first in the base of the bowl, then add your moisturizing conditioner, mix it all around. And that's a really good way to stretch out your product and also have a balancing, strengthening uh, treatment at the same time. This herb infuses amazingly well into um, butters, into oils. Um, it really infuses amazingly. So, um, I have actually got a video, I feel like I need to do like an up-to-date video on this, but you can actually um, heat up oil on the stove, infuse it with um, uh, amla, it could be olive oil, it can be coconut oil, and use that in a, a kind of butter whip with um, shea butter, and you have listen when I say amazing like you can apply this to your scalp and it really will help you to grow your hair thicken your hair if you've got areas of um, damage say for example um, from traction pulling on the hair um, hormonal hair loss reasons and um, I particularly recommend a tea if you've got um, hair loss hair loss postpartum it really does help to minimize the hair that you continue to shed infuse it into your hair gel girl Listen, you guys know I did like an infusion of um, my flax gel with hibiscus last time. Well, any Ayurvedic herb you like, you can actually infuse into your hair gels. And let me tell you something. There is no gel that I have ever come across that you can buy in the store that is going to be as nourishing and good for your hair as a flax gel that is infused with um, Ayurvedic herbs. So yeah, you can go ahead and try that and come back to me. Now, if you are prone to protein overloads, proceed with caution. Like maybe just don't. Like, yeah, yeah don't do it. <laughs> Um, and the last thing I wanted to say was actually that Amla could play an amazing role in your skincare routine. Ayurvedic skincare is the one. Where if you suffered from um, hyperpigmentation, scarring with acne, um, and spots and pimples in general, it really is an amazing face mask to use um, because it is great at pulling impurities out of the skin. But not only that, it's very high in vitamin C, which has been shown time and time again to not only stave off wrinkles um, and boost collagen production, um, it also helps to brighten any dark spots and any hyperpigmentation. Um, if you have hyperpigmentation from eczema and things like that, again, it really does uh, brighten uh, the skin in those areas after consistent use and you may even from a second or third use be able to see a very very clear improvement you can also use it as a spot treatment so literally just mix up a, a small amount of paste and apply it to your spot um, and it will help to dry it up because it's like pulling out all of the the gunk and the toxins um, and it will allow it to dry up shrink down and it's infusing it with vitamin c don't forget it's also really high in vitamin e as well which is super important for your skin um, and gives you that glow i hope you found this video useful if you have any uses that i have not stated in this video please comment below as i say you can do this with pretty much any ayurvedic herb so whether as or as Amla, um, you can do this. But if you wanted me to like do like a video where I did like straight demos of this, maybe uh, with a different herb or, or the same herb again, then let me know. And um, the other thing I wanted to say was I'm kind of thinking of doing like an investigation or like a video on how to um, best infuse your oils because I have been thinking about that a lot lately, and I wonder if you guys might find that helpful um, from your perspective as well. Like what is the best way to infuse Ayurvedic herbs actually into oils to maximize their benefits? 
also guys i have a really really exciting series starting as of next video so make sure that you are around for that it is going to be super interactive like I'm so excited for it, you don't understand. Like, I'm really excited for stuff that is coming to this channel. Um, and thank you guys so much for a quarter of a million of you. It is truly humbling. I do not know what I've done to deserve this awesome community because I do not, honestly, a lot of creators, they kind of have to deal with um, difficult audience or, you know, um, I don't know, people that can be combative and we just have such a lovely community. So I'm grateful for every single one of you. Please comment below. Let me know what you want to uh, see a video on next. And if you are hyped for the new series, I feel like you're going to love it. Much love. Take care of yourself and each other. And remember, it's an amazing day to be alive. And if you are going through a difficult time right now, know that it will get better. Do not give up. And if you need to speak to anyone, um, do you know what? It's a hard time for everyone. I'm going to leave some numbers below um, if you need to, to speak to anyone if you're going through a hard time. Sending you just all my love and I'll see you in the next one.